Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again. Today we're going to be checking out Abandoned Ship. Now you guys will remember that I covered this game a little while back in a combat demo. Uh, this time we're going to be doing a little bit of the story mode. This game is going to be releasing into early access on February 21st, uh, which is the day that this video will be released. And you can check it out on Steam. Links will be in the description down below. Let's go ahead and uh, start a new storyline, new game name, My Adventure, difficulty normal, tutorials. Uh, I'm going to turn tutorials off only because I, I really, I kind of know how to play this game for the most part. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Loading. A wild chorus, the birth of a monster. In that moment, the final strand is cut. A burst of clarity, the horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. Looks like a kraken. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. I don't know what that word is. Uh, their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down and flee this accursed place. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shock, surprise, registers the second one. Uh, on the second, before he is too down, you are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down. Your improvised weapon, a small idol of your father. It's cracked and cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside you snaps back to reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. You stride into the prison with feign authority, no matter. This place is unguarded and our, no, their moment of triumph. Escaping alone would be futile. Grab some keys from the guard room and approach the prisoners. Who would you like to unlock first? So we can unlock some crew members to help us on our ship. And I think the first crew member I am going to take is going to be the navigator. You know, Galileo, he's, he's going to be good. Um, the gunner is an expert reloading weapons. The uh, Marine is a trained melee fighter, useful boarding actions. The Surgeon, the Sailor. I think I'm going to take the Sailor next. And then for our third and final one, I'm going to take the Gunner. All right. You and your new companions surge through the labyrinth, uh, labyr labyrinthian passages. Uh, finally, a door. Light seeps through the cracks around the frame. Burst through the door. You close your eyes for a moment. As the sea breeze brushes your face, looking down at the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for, a ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. Oh yes, let's all get on our ship. Let's get started. Alright, so, I mean, I don't think I really need all of you to come over here and do that, but we will. Uh, in the navigator, we can put on the helm. And let's get out of here. Let's escape. Whatever shall we do? Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away. The high priest at their head, his scream reaches your ears. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse. No doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. All right. So now we can go around this map, and it's a pretty cool map, actually. I love how this canvas is, like, strung together. It's, like, woven fabric almost, kind of like a burlap sack. So that is pretty cool. Uh, we have a bigger version of the map, so we can kind of look, see. There are three different ways that we can escape, but it looks like our quest is taking us down here near the bottom, which is fine. So let's go ahead and head off that direction. Okay. A patrolling cult ship has stumbled upon us. The man, the guns. Man, the guns. We owe them no mercy. All right. So pausing my deal here. Let's go ahead and let's put a gunner there. Let's put the sailor there. And then the captain, we can put... Right there in that location as well. All right. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to pull the sailor away and put you there and put the sailor on that gun. Because the captain is an all-around 
fairly well set up guy. The navigator is great for maneuvering the ship, and I'm going to shoot the ship, and then I'll shoot the ship with this one as well. Um, yeah, navigator's repairing. This guy is great at repairing stuff, so that will be good to know. Oh, yeah, there's two cultists there. Oh, or out of range. Let's see if we can't maneuver inward just a little bit. Oh, they're trying to pull away from us. Let's go ahead and take the sailor and put him on this back gun. So this gun in the front is like a uh, anti-personnel gun, if you will. This gun in the back is uh, takes out their mast. So it would slow down the maneuvering of their ship. Let me actually go ahead and have this guy repair what we've got here and move you back to here. All right, the captain of the ship is manning some guns, which, I don't know, is a little strange. But, hey, if you guys hear a little, like a little pitter-patter or something, uh, it's hailing outside right now. And I apologize for that. Nothing I can do about it. But I do apologize. Let's go ahead and move you up to the front. Are we still not in range? We're still not in range, no. All right, let's, uh, let's go back here. Keep going. Our maneuver bar is full, so we could flee. We could turn the ship around if we really wanted to. There's a couple of different things we could try to manage. All right, so we've taken out their sails. We should be able to catch up with them now. And we've damaged their couple of crewmates ever so slightly. Try our best here again. Their ship is pretty beat up, which is what you want. Go ahead and fire. Boom, their ship has been destroyed. Good. Let's see what we get from destroying their ship. There it goes, sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Grab what you can and be quick about it. More ships will be on their way. So we get some gold. 20 gold. Not bad. We found what we could. Let's go ahead and leave combat. And start on our way to the next area. All right. Do you announce to the crew that you need to take stock, but they are, and are not to be disturbed? Uh, in the uh, captain's cabin, you find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the cult had their way with the ship. Feels good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You stow them away neatly, knowing they may yet have their use. Examine yourself in the mirror. So, uh, light toned skin. We are a, a, a sir. We are the Drax. There we go. Let's go ahead and confirm. You reemerge onto the deck, and the crew snap to attention. We may have escaped, you begin, but we are not yet safe. We must take, make port, then go our separate ways. It's me they're after. You return to your cabin, slump into a chair. Moments later, the strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first. But he knew something within you had changed. Thus, you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength. Little by little, the fog was clearing. All right. Sharp knock at your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back onto the deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. So now we just have to escape this area. Um, flee, escape this area. You can search for a port. So we need to get through um, through this area. Off to the right, uh, we can see down here on this lower corner that uh, there is a gate over there to that side. But it's always good to explore the map a bit because sometimes you can run into different situations like this, different quests. The tension on the ship is palpable as two cult ships have been spotted in a hunting pattern. They are some distance apart but already converging on your position. What do you do? Our best. Maybe only chance to blitz the closest ship. I'm counting on you all. Flee. Get this ship turned around. Full sails now. Our best. Let's fight them out. Okay. Um, I need to set some per, uh, positions. 
So let's go ahead and put you there. We will put the gunner here and we will put the sailor here. And then I need to save these positions so that way we might actually attack this vessel. So go ahead and fire there. Actually, I think I'm going to fire this time at the back of the ship and see how we do. And then that one, oh, the weapon's not loaded. I do want to move in closer when we have the opportunity. Okay. Let's see if we can't gain on them a little bit better. Uh, their mast is pretty pretty well busted, uh, at least a, a bit of the way. So we'll keep firing upon that. That'll be useful for us. Boom. Yeah, we, we beat that up pretty good. Uh, we are repairing our sails, which is always good as well. All right. Uh, Sailor, I'm going to need you to repair that leak in our ship. That is going to be very useful for us. All right. So they are doing a lot of repairs to their ship. I'm going to fire that one to there. Go ahead and repair that hole. Now, down here in the lower left, we do have a little bit of water on board. So I'm going to go ahead and pump that water out. Okay. And then I'm going to move you up to the front to try and get... Uh, this front gun, this anti-personnel gun going. Actually, that's a lie. You're going to go back here and you are going to do your best to fix that hole. All right, we're going to ram this ship. We're going to brace for impact while we ram it. And we have exploded their ship. Very nice. We have sunk your battleship. Whatever shall you do? It worked out. <laughs> There's no time to gather your plunder. The second ship is upon you. Will you stand and, de uh, and declare for double the riches or flee because your life is more valuable than treasure? Um, we are... Uh, the ship is already on a war footing attack. Uh, yes. We are going to fight this ship just as much as we fought the previous one. Let's fire upon these positions uh, we want to do our best to get into close range they are trying to separate the distance from us as much as they can we're going to try and prevent that the best that we can our hull is good I'm not too worried about our hull because their hull is already almost down to that alright sailor get that stuff repaired up we're looking pretty good. I can't complain. All right. Fire your volley. There you go. There. It's very good. Very good. Very good. All right. We're going to do another cannon shot here towards the main sails. Okay. No holes have been put in our ship. So we'll continue with what we're doing. As soon as he is done there, I'm going to take him to repair the mast. Because they did do some damage to the mast here. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to pause that. That's fine. Um, still good. Actually, I want to bring you back here and get you on repairing this stuff. Okay. Very good. Very good. We could do another uh, ram attack. Let's let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's brace. Brace for brace impact. Mmm, very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's go ahead and get you on the repairs. That way we might be good to go. Yes, we are repaired. Good. You have lived to tell the tale, a glorious tale it shall make. You mentally recount your success, etching the strategy into your reflexes. The crew are less uh, circumspect and busy themselves with the considerable salvage. All are drunk on the thrill. Most are drunk on more besides. <laughs> so 35, and then we got some food as well. We got some gold and we got some food. So that's good. 
Uh, looks like everything on the ship is pretty well um, repaired, so we'll just kind of continue on with our voyage. And I think I'm going to make my way over to this gate over this way. So it shouldn't be too much further. Um, is there any kind of missions or anything? No, it doesn't look like it in our view at least. All right, the gate. So we've only done one of four, so we might as well hit this. Current be uh, bearing leads to a head-on crash with a vessel flying cult colors. They have plenty to answer for. Take us to cannon range. Yes, let's let's do it. Let's uh, let's get into cannon range. Don't let them try and outmaneuver us. We're going to do our best to not be outmaneuvered. Uh, fire the cannons. Meow. Fire that. At the mast. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some repairs with the sailor. And then we'll make sure he gets put right back up here. Okay, they're still firing on us. The captain, reload status. Ooh! One of my guys has gotten hurt. As soon as he fires his next shot, I'm gonna send him up to heal himself. Because he was like sniped off of that platform almost, which is not good. All right, he looks healed. We do have some repairs that we need to be doing, so we're going to do those. Okay, our ship is looking a little rough. We're not quite half, but we're, we're getting there. So I don't think I want to do any more ramming maneuvers. I think we'll stick to our, our guns here. Man, they are definitely doing some damage to this, to this vessel. I will say that. Come on, ouch. All right, get your shot off and then I'm gonna get you to go get healed. There we go. Okay. Man, this, this one's a little rougher. We got a lot of repairs that need to be made. Ooh, almost one more shot, wherever that shot comes from is going to be very, very useful for us. Come on, one of the cannons needs to shoot. All right, get that repaired. This side gun over here is definitely beat. Okay, let's, let's get some repairs going. The captain, you can go over here. Right. And before, like I said, before we get going too far, I do want to get as much of the ship repaired as we can. Fire. All right, we're good. All right, so everybody, ret oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. That is not what I wanted to do. Save your positions. Good, good. All right, let's leave combat and continue on our way. Maybe we should flee the next... Assault that we run into. That would probably be, probably be beneficial to us. What else? What else? Where? Give me another quest. Look at look at how cool this map is. Like that is a really cool effect. I I really dig that. Is very unique. I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. I'm, I'm just really excited. But I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Uh, and we'll be back, hopefully getting into the next area uh, in the next episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, be sure to look out for it on Steam. Links will be in the description down below. Or you can search for it on Steam uh, by searching Abandoned Ship. And I will see you guys next time on the channel. Have a good one.